Hey, welcome to Angelic Alchemy. Um, welcome to my space here. I wanted to get on here. I just got done doing a session and I'm about to have another session um, walk through my doors. But I wanted to get on here because I've had a lot of um, epiphanies, a lot of different um, awarenesses come through that really... Um, <clears throat> been opening up my eyes lately um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it and as I say that it, it just it leaves me like just completely lose my train of thought um, but I guess this wanted to come out um, the heart of sky many paths the drum and thunder eleven six seven six So the sixes align, the seven and the eleven align. Um, and I pulled the heart sky, the heart of the sky earlier today. So I'm thinking I'm just going to read that all the way through because it seems to be a pretty big message and I just turned right to it too. So um, the heart of sky is a love force that made all creation possible. The same force is present when you create with originality, when you bring formlessness to form or inspired ideas to expression. This primeval force does not know good or bad. It is up to us to provide the clear intention that we guide it to manifest. The heart of sky helps us call in beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world of matter. And I think this just really goes along with my, my sessions and how I conduct my sessions and what my guides have been showing me over the past few years through my sessions. And this is why I've cultivated this type of Reiki modality. I've kind of dubbed it intuitive Reiki. Um, and it's, guiding you through your uh your vessel your body and it's they were showing me how um it connects to parts of the body how the earth does um what the body does when it connects to the earth what the body does when it connects to the sun um what happens to the body when both of them are connected like uh it's just flowing into that whole um idea of uh, creating heaven on earth, creating your type of heaven on earth. Um, the invitation to this card says, the heart of sky brings you to sacred reminder. <clears throat> you are a channel for the original energy of creation. Become the paintbrush, the canvas, and the artist, all guided by the heart of sky. Set your intentions ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details. <clears throat> um, the medicine for this card is you may feel responsible for everything and everyone. I release the burdens I hold for others. Perhaps you think that you have to do it all alone. This takes you into a dark hole where you lose trust in the natural order of the cosmos. Shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize... Ah, leave that alone. Sorry. Um, shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize that this is a false prison of your own making. You can open the door and set yourself free in an 
instant. <clears throat> eight. Basil. Tell my, my dog and my cat are playing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. No, 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 sir. No, sir. Um, <clears throat> that was interesting. So the heart of sky, <clears throat> many paths, the drum and thunder. What I'm getting is is by us creating our own heaven on earth by um through our own vessel it's 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 a connection that we make so our our left side of our body like our foot connects to the earth and shoots that energy up our left side and then when it gets to the head the crown if the crown is fully connected to our source our original source it can funnel that grounding energy of earth and everything she's going through to the sun the sun will then transmute it and send those light codes and that medicine down the right side of your body and into the earth um <clears throat> so you know that for a long time now my guides have told me to not open books and read them not um, follow the word of man, no opinions. Um, I just need to be clear, clear, clear so that I can take in what needs to be coming in through the cosmos for my awareness. Like nothing here on earth, um, would help me at this point. So they said, stop studying, stop, uh, reading, like do not read. And it got to the point where every time I did open up something and read, read something, uh, the first paragraph I was asleep. Um, <clears throat> so really putting everything away, all the noise, all the voices, all the opinions, everything on this planet that wants to feed us, I had to shut all that off and, um, just be alone in my own thoughts, my own feelings, my own opinions about everything that I was going through and experiencing here, you know, on my, my earthly journey. And I, um, started trusting in my knowing. I started trusting what I felt and, um, it led me to a space of, I know what I know. And I know who I am and I love that about me. Um, but since I, since I stopped taking in everything around here, um, I was able to conduct my own healing modality or, or start conducting it anyways. I started um, seeing what they wanted me to start doing and, and once I got brave enough to express some of those feelings and, and how to work with uh, parts of the body, once I started saying them in my sessions to the client, um, it was like instantly their body just started opening up and working and doing all the things that would have taken me probably three or four or five, maybe eight minutes sometimes. And that, um, that becomes exhausting, you know, and if I can teach you that awareness about your own body and how you can uh, work with your own vessels, work with your own chakras so that you know, oh, I have, um, I have some pain in my kidney. Um, what is it? And it tells you, hey, it's anger. You, you were really upset about this one thing that happened and you didn't really get to express that. Um, so now, there's this energy build up and you need to address it now and if you're quiet enough you can hear you can hear those voices and you'll just know you'll know okay that is what i'm dealing with um i was thinking this that was my thought process that that was my mentality and yeah i did i did suppress it i i i really am i need to express this um and then and then you know what to do you just scream <laughs> if it's anger you scream um, if it's sadness, you cry, you know, if you need to forgive, forgive. Uh, but if 
you are feeling a certain emo emotion, let your body naturally express it. If you try to stop it midway or almost all the way and you stop it, you're you're still suppressing it. Like you're you'll have to do that whole process over again. So you might as well let your body do what it naturally does and and release it on its own and then uh without you trying to stop it before time just let it naturally end on its own as well and that's going to help you tremendously um <clears throat> i also know that um we really need to start um, holding more space for our masculine energy to wake up. Um, masculine energy is very protective and loving and it creates, um, it creates a space where it protects this right here. It protects mother, it protects woman, it protects creation. A message of love. So let's see what the earth has to say. The message of love. <clears throat> she says, we travel the endless corridors of our mind until one day we find a pathway that leads us to our heart. Who you truly are has nothing to do with your personality or achievements, success, or failures. The you you think you are is an actor playing a role that your soul has chosen. The essence of you is soul, light, with no beginning and no end. You are an eternal spark of pure creativity, unlimited potential, it yearns to be expressed and fulfilled. Your potential is your destiny. It awaits your call. Trust your heart and apply its love and wisdom to all that you do. <clears throat> In this way, you all create and do will <laughs> be a true expression of your soul. It is through expressing your truth that you create things of lasting value. So it needs to be true to you. Um, it, it should, it should feel with great conviction that resonance of truth. And the affirmation for this card says, <clears throat> I am an essence light. I am an essence soul. I am pure creative potential. I am guided by my heart. I apply love and wisdom to all I say and all I do. The Sacred Earth Mother. <clears throat> I like that. Look, we have liberation on the back. yin and yang on the front this is a little bit about why i actually got on here today let me see if what time it is okay um i want to start talking more about the masculine and the feminine energies um the yin and the yang specifically do you see this yin and yang energy so we we have this um, circle around our body. You can say our head is right here above and our feet are right here below and right split down in the center is our spine. Okay. Um, and our masculine energy above is right here. The, the, I'm going to call it two hemispheres. So it does look like there's a circle and the right side of this circle, this hemis this side of the hemisphere is masculine. This side is feminine. And when you are out of balance, uh, say your masculine is, is too much, you're giving too much of yourself, you're not receiving, your masculine becomes bigger than your, your feminine side. And so you'll see people with a higher shoulder than the other, and it's usually predominantly the, the masculine that gets above. 
Um, and that's because you're not going with the flow enough. And I see this a lot, not, not only in men, but I, I see it a lot in women. Uh, because women tend to think that we have to be masculine. I mean, because our society, you know. Um, <clears throat> but really, the if you really want me to blow your mind real fast, let me just cut the whole this out for a second. The, the boy energy, when a boy is born into this planet, it is a lot of pink energy. They're bringing a lot of love and a lot of sacred love and protection. So it's a lot of pink energy. Um, and then when the, when the girls are born, when you have a baby girl around, um, they are very expressive and they're, they got to align with their uniqueness and their voice and their, their, um, true expression. And it's really blue. Uh, so what they told us, you know, girls wear pink, boys wear blue is, was wrong from the start. Um, and that's why we have a crisis today about our identity. Um, but if we all follow one golden rule, just one little rule, I don't even say golden, I say golden because it's from the sun, but um, it doesn't have anything to do with religion at all. Um, this gold essence awareness is that, um, <laughs> I just forgot, <laughs> I just forgot what I was gonna say. Um, What was I talking about? Um, yeah, this is this is a long day. This is gonna be a long day. Because uh, as soon as I got on here, I lost all train of thought, and now I'm getting closer to what I really want to say, and they just keep taking it away from me. <laughs> um, oh, honor the vessel you chose. You chose this vessel. Whatever vessel you were born with, you chose that for a specific reason and you better be damn proud of that reason too. And if you wanna change it, please, 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 please turn the TV off. Go sit with yourself for at least four days in silence. Don't talk to anyone. Don't turn your phone on. Don't turn the TV on. If you can give yourself three or four days in complete silence, you will reconnect back to your body and the awareness that you were born with, and you will start remembering why you want to be here in this specific vessel. And then maybe you'll honor that. But, um, my lady is about to pull up, so I'm gonna get off here. And I did get those a little specific things just you know let's go back to the hemisphere real fast um, the yin-yang energy if if um, you can visualize your hemispheres being balanced and your shoulders connecting lining up so you'll align the shoulders you will align the hips the knees and the ankles you stand tall in your knowing, in your awareness, in your love. You know your masculine, you know your feminine. You know your masculine protects the feminine. You know your feminine guides the masculine. Then you can start working with yourself. Then you can go forward. And it says creating harmony through balance. That's how we balance. Okay. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. What is the tarot card for? Ooh. <laughs> the tarot card tower. So expect big changes. If you're drawn to this um, reading, expect big changes. Um, it is time. The tower moment. Break through some of those belief systems that are holding us back and um, the prison opens and you can blossom. This is Angelic Alchemy, I'm signing off. Remember guys, stay here. <laughs>